Europa Park Explained Part 1 Europa Park is a large theme park located in Rust, Germany. The resort, which is home to a huge range of attractions, currently holds the title of Germany's largest and most popular theme park. On top of this, Europa Park is the second most visited theme park in Europe following only Disneyland Paris. The resort currently hosts approximately 5.7 million visitors per year, accommodating up to 60,000 guests each day. During its lifetime, the park has grown consistently, becoming the attraction-rich resort it is today. However, Europa Park originally opened to the public with a very specific purpose, being a show floor for all new Mach Rides products. Going back over two centuries, the attraction manufacturer Mach Rides was founded by Paul Mach in 1780. Initially, the company produced wagons and barrows for people within the local area. The Mach business grew rapidly. By 1921, the manufacturer produced their first roller coaster, leading to the introduction of new and unique ride models throughout the middle of the century. At this point in time, the company was taken over by family member Franz Mach. After visiting theme parks across America in 1972, Franz and his son Roland dreamt of opening their own theme park. They envisioned a place to both sell Mach products and test out new ride ideas nearby the company's factory. As a result, in 1975, their dream became a reality. Franz and Roland Mach opened Europa Park, a visionary theme park concept. However, due to the park's ownership and location, it gained a lot of skepticism, with many expecting it to fail. Fortunately, they were wrong. In the first year alone, Europa Park was visited by approximately 250,000 people. This figure quickly grew to 700,000 a year later, and 1 million by 1978. Originally, however, the park wasn't planned to be constructed in rust. Initially, the Mach family wanted to build their vision within the town of Breisach next to a small artificial lake named Europa Lake. The lake was built to commemorate the historical pilot poll which saw close to 96% of voters in favour of European unification. It was at this location that the name of Mach's new attraction was formed, Europa Park. Unfortunately, the plans fell through. Shortly after, the location in which the resort sits today was found, and work started immediately. Upon the park's debut, it had only a few attractions. Among the most notable was Pirates of Batavia, a large indoor water ride. Initially, expansion of the park was slow. The attraction grew by installing its first log flume, the still-operating Tirola log flume, in 1978 while multiple carousels were constructed the following years. However, in 1982, the park opened its first country-themed area, Italy. This marked the start of the resort's rapid expansion of both rides and areas. 1993 saw the construction of the Euro Tower, a 75-meter, 246-foot-tall intimate observation tower, while 1984 saw the debut of the Netherlands-themed section of the park, as well as its first roller coaster, Alpen Express Enzian. The ride opened as a classic Mach Rides powered roller coaster featuring a twisted layout and an indoor section. This was followed by a second roller coaster only a single year later, Sveizer Baban, Mach's first bobsled coaster. The park continued to evolve quickly. The England section of the resort debuted in 1988, while 1989 saw the introduction of Europa Park's third roller coaster, Eurosat, within the newly built France themed area. The development of Eurosat saw the construction of a large 45-meter, 148-foot-high geodesic dome in which the ride can be found. Originally, the enclosed Mach Rides sit-down coaster was themed to spaceflight. However, the ride was rethemed and redeveloped for the 2018 season, opening as Eurosat Can Can Coaster. The attraction's original track was removed and replaced, while its theme changed drastically. Visitors can now take a fast-paced journey through illuminated Paris or even experience the ride in virtual reality. Part of the upgrade process saw the debut of a dedicated VR station, allowing guests to ride the attraction as if they were part of the 2017 film Valerian. Several years after the construction of the French section of the resort saw visitor numbers reach 2 million for the first time. The same year, Fjord Rafting, an intimate river rapids ride, also opened at the park. 1992 saw the debut of two newly themed areas, Austria and Scandinavia, while 1993 saw the development of Switzerland 
and 1994, Spain. Europa Park entered a new era in 1995, officially becoming a resort with the debut of its first hotel, El Andaluz. On top of this, the park debuted the EP Express, a relaxing monorail that takes you across the various theme sections. At this point, the park continued to invest at a seemingly ever-increasing rate. 1996 saw the debut of the German section of the resort, while 1997 resulted in the construction of Euromir, Markride's first spinning roller coaster. The ride, themed to the Russian space station Mir, takes guests on a journey into space before they return back to Earth. To build more on the ride's theme, it became part of the newly opened Russian section in 1998. A year later, Europa Park constructed yet another roller coaster, Matterhorn Blitz, Mark's classic Wild Mouse. Unlike many of the company's other Wild Mouse attractions, Matterhorn Blitz features an elevator lift which takes guests above the attraction's buildings. The turn of the millennia brought a chain of new roller coaster investments. In 2000, the park's first water coaster, Poseidon, opened alongside the newly themed area, Greece. Poseidon allows guests to enjoy the twists and turns of a roller coaster before splashing down into a bed of water below. Two years later, in the attempt to diversify the range of attractions at the resort, Europa Park installed their first thrill coaster. Silver Star, a Bolliger and Mambiard hypercoaster, opened to the public in 2002 as the tallest and fastest roller coaster in Europe. The ride takes guests up to a maximum height of 73 meters, 240 feet, before subjecting them to a series of airtime hills in which they experience total weightlessness. Interestingly, similar to several rides at Europa Park, Silver Star is sponsored, in this case, by Mercedes-Benz.